Yo guys, I'm Yellow, a hardcore PC gamer, so today I figured we should talk a little bit about how to better brand esports for the mainstream media, mainly because uh, what I've already seen has been rather shoddy in the terms of how you uh, might potentially want to break something that is uh, increasingly popular. Uh, for whatever reason, uh, the, the you know the networks out there might want to do this. It's it's probably to you know catch on towards a demographic that they're, they're missing out on because the internet is just growing in power fundamentally speaking, which is awesome by the way. But in the end of the day, okay, we are now getting esports on towards mainstream television. I know that there's been a little bit of it in Norway. Not that I've cared. Uh, then again, I don't own a fucking TV, so what can I really say? But uh, reality still stands. It's getting a really bad rap when it could have been done so much better. Then again, that might be because I got like ten thousand hours of first person shooting gaming and I made thousand YouTube videos over a crap ton of years but aside from all that experience okay this is in general what should be done in the realm of um, introducing esports better towards the mainstream okay so what you need to do is to draw proper lines that people from regular esports can associate themselves with and then draw the, their own you know connections lines towards the sports that they already enjoy uh, potentially you know uh, with esports if you do this in a proper manner it will be plainly obvious that the skill is there and that the eSport that they're looking at, which then becomes, so to speak, a sport, um, it's actually kind of impressive, okay? So, um... Let's start with chess. A very nice, uh, nice uh, get you know get get off point. Okay, chess. Essentially, you're sitting down. You got to use your mind, uh, and you're going to try and break the the opponent by literally just you know using the rule set of the game itself to to outthink him per se and to be able to win by just being able to beat him by, by uh, pure wits. Now the game is incredibly advanced, so you need to be incredibly smart in that avenue to be able to do uh, such a feat in which uh, I think Norway got the leading guy or uh, Carlson something. I don't remember his name, but then again, I'm not into chess. Point still stands that if you were to introduce such a game today in which if we assume that it was not to exist in the past, do you think that it would honestly get a good rap, as good of a rap as it got right now? I would bet against it every fucking time. But then again, it's a hypothetical. Uh, drawing the uh, the straight, you know, association thingamabob towards eSport right today is pretty similar, but it's a little bit different. You're essentially um, merging the reflexes that are needed in football, uh, if you're a keeper or if you are playing uh, out on the field, with chess in the sense that you have to play incredibly smart, you have your tool set, and you need to, you know, make, make it move depending on the opponent, but then again, you also got to have exceptional hand-to-eye coordination skill, which is its own skill. It's very hard to demonstrate that exact thing, uh, but you also got to have very good muscle memory, which essentially means that if you are a keeper and playing football, you will almost automatically, without thinking, reach out for the ball and try and grab it before he goes into the goal. Or if you are one of the dudes out on the field and the ball is falling towards you, you will, you know, head the ball and make it bump on your chest or kick it, depending on time and place and or what your next moves are supposed to be with your team. So... Putting it out there, it may be any simpler rap than what I just did right now. It will probably allow people to un understand what requires what, what is required of esports, in which is a fuck ton. Okay, we are essentially playing a hybrid of real sports, super intelligent sports, and lazy sports, in which people can legitimately become the fucking world's best players and still be slightly fat. Even though again, you, you in general, you just need to be a little bit fit because these kind of games they they require a very stable psyche, and you won't really necessarily have that if you have a serious kind of or not serious, but like decent weight towards your person, because in general, like the blood sugar level, it just will bounce too much around and then you become inconsistent, which is probably why most of the pro players out there, not JW though, but like they won't be super heavy to, to put it out there in that kind of sense. But point still stands though, that this is a hybrid we are playing with and having fun with. It requires as much as a sport, if not more on certain occasions. You have to sacrifice almost equally, if not more time towards getting towards the level of the top players, uh, comparing them to uh, to the real athletes or other esports and and if not other uh, kind of sports that might be as mundane you know chess for a lack of uh, of uh, other things to put out there if not curling I mean you were just standing there and sliding a rock <laughs> but <laughs> it's so ridiculous I fucking love that sport just because it's so silly uh, but then again it becomes genius because it has its all small own small quirks but point still stands that if you just give it that proper rap if you start you know you can ease uh, ease people into it maybe make it learn like teach them how how the eSport actually becomes awesome and epic in this kind of realm, and from there on out you bring them into the game, they might enjoy it. But then again, you know, it's not up to me to decide what these old, older people are gonna do. I mean, they have their own systems, we got our own systems. We don't necessarily even need them. I mean, we have distribution of the internet, so...
I don't know, I guess I wanted to give them a helping hand. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you want to support this channel and or if you want to uh, learn more about Counter-Strike Global Offensive in any kind of or fashion, I guess, feel free to subscribe. If you want to support the channel, we got the Patreon page. Here are two related videos. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a nice day and don't get beastified when you play, people.